now we just need some more builders. We need to be able to keep pushing for these national parks. Uh, we also do want to think about getting Golden Gate Bridge over here. It's, of course, not exactly the best because we only have two national parks in this city, but two is two is better than zero, so it might be worthwhile. Can we actually potentially even get a third? I don't think... No, nah, we definitely can't. I had I had a small a small bit of hope there. We could build a Venetian arsenal though, which would make Potato McWhiskey happy. So I think we will do that. It's time for hugs from Eugene. So you might hear him purring, or you might hear me yelling at him when he inevitably will bite me after about two seconds because he's bored. <laughs> I've talked about this on stream, but I'm like kind of considering getting another cat just because Eugene, you know, he's 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 a little bit lonely. I think being here by himself as the only feline in the house, so. He might, he might need a cat friend, because he gets bored and then he just bites me all the time. And I, needless to say, I don't exactly appreciate that. So maybe, maybe this could be solved by simply acquiring another cat. So, with control of three of those, now we can go ahead. Oh, what's the name of our... Oh, it's Diamonds. So you, you already know. GME Diamond Hands. That's right. Eugene is walking in front of the screen as well, so I can only half see. Hopefully I typed it right. I couldn't really tell. Let's go ahead and start getting some naturalists up here. Naturalists at this point cost like about a thousand. About a thousand gold, which is a little bit pricey. Or a thousand faith, I mean. It's not that bad, I mean, considering that we make 266 per turn, but... 266 actually isn't that insane. So wait, let's take a look. Do we have a monopoly on diamonds? Oh, we do actually, yes. There are four monopolies or four diamonds in the world, and we control three out of the four of them, so we're doing pretty good. Same thing with gypsum. We have pretty good control over gypsum. Do we have a second source of gypsum in our land? Let me search for it real fast. Ah, uh, no, the other two are over here, though, so this is definitely... We could potentially get a monopoly on it if we just, you know, YOLO settle over here. Probably not the best idea to just YOLO settle, though. So, I mean, technically, I probably should be waiting until the next era enabled, uh, before I form some of these national parks. And the reason for that is because as I form them, I'm getting all this era score. So, it's going to be really tough not to go into a dark age in the next era after this one that's coming up. How many turns do we have? It's still tw like 21 turns until we even go into the next era, though. Also, what happens if we clear this now? Do we still have a Monopoly? Oh, it actually, it doesn't count as Monopoly anymore. Okay, so we, so we do want to actually hold that because the whatchamacallits themselves actually do give a good bit of tourism. Monopolies. Let's become friends again with Soyaman. Become friends with them, or we already are friends. Catherine doesn't like us, though, for some reason. Not exactly sure why. She wants to give us a monk for one whale. That's a deal. And let's redeclare our economic alliance with you. Oh, or maybe not, because I'm trying to do it in between turns, which it gets a little bit upset about. Over here, I don't even know what we want to build. <laughs> I, I really have not much of a clue. There's not really that much we really need anymore. We just need pretty much everything put into getting more faith, getting more naturalists, and then at the end of the day, Getting a ton more tourism. Well, we are only at 267 right now. Like, that's that's not good. Especially considering that other people do have quite a bit of culture output. It's going to take 358 tourists to be able to win. The cars haven't advanced that much. We are now up to a cool 415 culture per turn. Just off of the back of all this stuff that we have going. Needless to say, I think that this might be a pretty good strategy, even though we are playing on, like, Super Deity. It doesn't even really matter, because we get a billion of everything, pretty much for free, from all of this lovely land that we have. Actually, we can actually spy on people now, because we have seen other people's territory that we aren't allied with. So we can perhaps run some legitimate missions here. Could potentially get Taj Mahal. Do we want Taj Mahal? Why not, right? Why not have a wonder? And we can finally get, in the capital, we can get one of our national parks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> four science, six culture, six faith, six food, five production, four gold. Oh my god. <laughs> that is just insane, the yields that you get from this crap. It's it's honestly like game... Oh, only 37 turns for Golden Gate Bridge as well. If we can actually get it, I'll be quite happy. 
course, the uh, whatchamacallit over here is broken for about the 48th time in a row. I'm just gonna buy the shipyard. We'll give this city four extra production, which is pretty worthwhile considering it has very bad production as is. Could we also potentially get St. Basil's up here? Uh, we maybe could. It's worth considering, I think. I don't think it's super great, though. Actually, now that I think of it, in Philadelphia, what we should probably be doing right now... Oh, that just got rid of some of my forests. That makes me sad. But what we should be doing in Philadelphia over here is actually creating products. So we can use these products to go send these to other cities or trade with people. And then that will give us a whole bunch of good stuff in return. What do we want to change for our policy cards here? I'm trying to think, but honestly, I don't know. Maybe we could honestly benefit from trying to do the trade a little bit. We have six trade routes, so this will give us at least 24 extra gold per turn. I mean, we're making 418, which is obviously already kind of good. Probably good enough as is to do most things that we would ever want to do in a game. The biggest thing I want to do now is get one of the great engineers that will allow me to, to rush the Golden Gate Bridge. That way, maybe we can hopefully get it before anybody else does. And then have, have the meme of having both the Venetian Arsenal and the Golden Gate Bridge. We would, we would perhaps break, break the Civ content creation sphere by doing so. We also won the Nobel Prize in Literature, which is a huge win because it means that Rock bands are 20% cheaper to purchase, which is exactly what you want whenever you're going for a culture victory. And you also get extra album sales from them. So that combined with the fact that we will make a lot of good use out of rock bands is going to make this very nice. We also lost the Golden Gate Bridge, which is big sad, but what are you going to do, really? I can't say it's the most surprising thing in the world. We actually probably do want to just get to... Well, we'll get Democracy and then, and then we'll get Cold War, so that way we can start spamming out some rock bands. We met Cleopatra as well. She's doing all right. The biggest threat right now to us is is France, just because France has really high culture output. So it becomes increasingly difficult to compete with people who have high culture output, because then you need pretty much equally high tourism output. I'm going to go ahead and vote for this to maybe get an extra slot. We'll vote for democracy for the extra wildcard slot. I would like to get some Diplo victory points if possible. And we'll vote for this as well. Did we win, is the question. Or did people say that we need to lose some Diplo points? No, we still want them. We won that. We didn't win for democracy, unfortunately. How are we doing on Diplo victory points? We're at 15. So, <laughs> there's a, a very real chance that we could potentially end up winning diplomatic victory before we're even able to win culture victory. Oh, wait. I accidentally switched off of the Venetian Arsenal. Can't go doing that now. But we'll have to see what happens. There's there's like a very a very possible chance that we are just going to win Diplo victory. We've got 460 culture per turn now though. And 302 science per turn. Keep in mind we have I think like two campuses and maybe like three theater squares. <laughs> and we have yields that are this ridiculously insane. Absolutely broken. But man, if it isn't fun, I don't know what is. Switch over to democracy now as well. As far as policy cards, I really don't know what to run, because I feel like none of this really helps us all that much, but what could we potentially get here? I mean, colonial offices, I guess, is fine. The other thing, we could take New Deal. We don't even have that many districts, though, so I don't think it's particularly great. Any good Dark Age policies? Not really. Maybe Invention, honestly. We do want to get great Engineer points, still to get some of these, these endgame wonders that could be helpful towards us. Oh, our spy succeeded in doing something. Good job, spy. Maybe steal some technology better. I think the human I think we are ready for some more nationalists. Naturalists, not nationalists. We do not want nationalists in our civilization. We want naturalists to form national parks. Let's start getting some of them over here. I still don't have any idea where this guy was. Maybe we'll just have him counter spy in Washington. Prevent Pingala from getting killed. We'll continue to trade with Alanda because that's still quite a quite a good trade route. We have 4,000 gold. I don't really know what to use it for, though. There's not really much we need. Does this give a Diplo point if we win? It doesn't. So what I'm thinking here is that if we were to get Statue of Liberty, that would put us one Diplo point away from winning the game. I definitely want a factory, and I'm just going to buy it because why even bother waiting at this point? And I'll buy a trader, too. Why not? I'll buy it all. We're still only sitting at 335 tourism, which really isn't that much. We've got, we've got a long way to go. At this point, we could honestly even just potentially go for a science victory. 
I don't think it I don't think it would really matter that much. We've got enough flexibility, I think, to have about a billion yields for literally everything. So we want to make sure that we are trading with other civilizations to get the tourism modifier. Do you lose like monopoly status for trading away? Oh, that's not the menu that I wanted. The hey, look, Venice we built the Venetian army. Arsenal. Take that, Potato Happy McWhiskey. Happy is that don't city, quote me on this, but which in time of peace. All right. Um, I don't think that we lose. Does it count as losing control? No, it doesn't. Okay. We uh, is there anything else we could get a monopoly on? We looked at gypsum, but it's not possible. What about incense? Well, if we get one more, we can have an incense monopoly. Not. So how does the diamond thing work? Where is it? Where is my product? There's my diamond product. So yeah, we can go ahead and give this out to other cities that are generating gold, and then they will be able to generate additional gold. So maybe we want to send this one to, like, I don't know, maybe Boston? Except we don't have a stock exchange in Boston, so we do need to get one there first. Also, I think with the power of rock bands now, since not that many people probably have the policy card that will that will allow them to kick out our rock bands, I think we should probably start sending rock bands out to do performances in other people's lands. So they are, they're, I mean, they're pretty cheap right now as well at only 480 gold, so. Yeah, what do you say? Let's go ahead and start getting some rock bands, sending them out and, and seeing if, if we can get any good tourism generation from that as well. Now the question is, will anybody buy my diamond product? Infrasound Audio Tech. I don't think that has anything to do with... Uh, he doesn't want it under any circumstances. This guy hates diamonds. I wonder if these people just don't have stock exchanges, which is why they won't take it. <laughs> they literally won't even accept it as a gift, which probably means that that's the case. Oh, what would she give me? 10 gold per turn. Deal. Sold. What do we want for this? Oh, goes to 11 is a really good one. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take that. A little map? That's fine. What do you have? Spaceports and campuses? I'll go for that. Mystery carrots. Ooh, that's fun. I would not... I, I really don't desire to eat any mystery carrots, though. I'm, 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 a, I'm a medium carrot fan, honestly, I would say. I think I think carrots are, are decent foods. Here we go into the Atomic Era, which means we're about to double our tourism Radio. output. So we can take Wish You Were Here, we'll take Heartbeat of Steam and Bodyguard of Lies, and just like that, we now get double tourism on our national parks. Which, you know, seeing the quantity of national parks that we are currently in possession of, it's pretty good. We also have reached the point of having the film studio. Which means even more tourism. Which means we do also, we probably should be getting some theater squares in some of these cities. Oh, that's right, I just added it to the queue. Obviously don't need two of them. We have a film studio over there. Should definitely get a film studio over here. And yeah, let's go start performing. What do you say? Do a performance for me. Alright, nice job, little map. You failed on your very first performance. <laughs> it's not, not exactly what you like to see, is it? This guy can go to the campus, though. Another national park goes down. Its preserve is almost done as well, which means we'll be able to get some extra yields on these tiles, some more science, culture, and faith. There we go. That's what you like to see on tiles. Stuff like that, you know? We can also switch over here to the preserve, get it there. We can just buy the shipyard, that way this guy gets a little bit of extra production here. Oh, we can build a seaside resort on the volcanic soil. I forgot that that's a thing that you can do all the time. Might as well put some seaside resorts along this land over here. Hmm. This, this guy is the good one for campuses, right? Yeah, let's go perform on the campus. This guy, wow, this guy, is, he's, he's been on quite the exploratory adventure. This guy's offering some gold for some of my strategic resources, which I'll take. We really don't even need our strategic resources since we're not really warring at all. There's a freaking dust storm that spawned on, like, the, <laughs> the two tiles of desert that are over there. A little bit rude of him, but that's fine. We haven't gotten Cristo Redentro at this game, but I don't think it really matters. Oh, nice job, Mystery Carrots. A real Kraken performance there. 2,250 tourism generated and 150 albums sold. Well done. Which means they'll get a promotion. Let's see what we can get on them. Oh, they have uranium. Look at that. Wow, they, these guys have a lot of wonders, it seems. If God had really oh, he's the guy who ended up aura. with... He's the guy who got the Golden Gate Bridge. 
None of these are really good, so I'll honestly just take the movement, I think. The saddest thing is that even with however much faith we have, we have three, we have pretty much 400 faith per turn, and it's still not enough to keep up with the demand that we have for all of these, all of these naturalists and stuff. And the rock bands and the howl kit and caboodle. Alright, decent performance from them. 5,250 tourism generated. Just like that. See, this is this is also the power of rock bands. Rock bands are insanely strong for getting you a ton of tourism. This guy, hmm. Seaside Resorts and Harbors. The Seaside Resorts and Harbors one actually is okay. I'm trying to look for harbors around here. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like France has many harbors. They have a few. Maybe, maybe we'll go for Arena Rock. Frightened Authors. Oh. They are terrified of books. This man, sir, he's afraid of a book. No. He mustn't be. Actually, wait, why even bother? We have 8,000 gold. Why even bother producing things when we can just buy it? How to be a rich snob 101. Let's go ahead and do a performance over here. Another really good performance for Mystery Carrots. Man, these guys are slaying it. 4,500 or 750 tourism generated. Question is, will the frightened authors have any success? All right, well, they haven't immediately failed. They generated 2,000 tourism off of that as well, so... So far, things are looking okay for the frightened authors. <laughs> this stupid privateer is back again. God, this guy's been around so many times. Do we have any other campuses? I'm sure there's probably got to be a few around. Oh, we have a promotion for these guys. The water park one actually is okay as well. Let's check the victory screen. Oh, shoot. Catherine is on her way to a science victory. Will be will we be able to beat her there in culture, though, is the question. Okay, there's another campus. Oh, there's one right here. We can go on that. Let's see. Frightened Authors. Any success? Oh, I think that's a bad one. Oh, never mind. It's an alright one. 2,500 tourism. Not, not bad. Not bad. These guys over here. Oh, one level more experienced on Wonder Tiles is pretty good. Minor Machine, Social Beach, Cheap Production, Hungry Wonders, Magic Cookies, Industrial Spies. Oh, I like that. Got this guy that gives us less war weariness than normal. Or should we use him? So, sure, we'll just use him, I guess. I think this is the end of Frightened Authors. Yep. <laughs> they had a good run. They still generated 3,000 tourism on their way out, though. Let's see. Maybe these guys will fail, too. Nope, Mystery Carrot's still still rolling all right. 6,000 tourism generated. Up to 123 out of 493. So computers will help with that because now we get the percentage-based boost. So we're almost at 1,000 tourism per turn. Which is quite good. Ah, Mystery Carrot's killing it again. 6,750 tourism generated. Nicely done. Do need to renew our alliance. <gasps> Christina! I never thought I'd see the day. Look at how fantastic she's over here looking. Very nice, Christina. Come on, lick, lick, lick the book. Lick the book. Do it. She's not doing it. Darn it. Oh. Oh, she says, okay, go away. <laughs> Fine, Christina, you jerk. There's another one of these. Is it envi- yeah, we want environmentalism as well to give us the extra tourism modifier. We can just keep making diamonds. Does anybody want to take our diamonds yet? Lucero drill bits. They'll give us one gold per turn. Sure. It's probably... This is the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals. Possibly ever. So, who do we have a trade route to so far? Catherine? Suyamon? That's it. Alright, well, let's send one to Vietnam. Get the tourism modifier with them. Keep looking. There's a campus. Alright, mystery carrots. 9,750 tourism generated. How, how will the industrial spies do? Pretty good. Pretty good is the answer. 2,250 tourism, not bad. I mean, definitely not mystery carrots level, but you know, it's respectable. Wow, that gave us a lot of extra tourists. See, the thing is though, still, her culture is at 685. We have to, we have to be gaining so many per turn in, in order to just even keep up with her. 
Um, let's get another rock band just right away, because I'm sure that one of these guys is probably not going to survive their next performance. Ah, Mystery Carrots. 10,750 tourism. Mystery Carrots. Absolutely. Absolute machines, honestly. What do we get on these guys? Uh, we'll go ahead and take the theater square one. What do we want? Dire Rabbit. Perfect Stoplight. I like Perfect Stoplight. That's a, that's a, a nice name. Oh, I think these guys failed. Yeah. Industrial Spies. They were short-lived. They were like a, a two-hit wonder. This guy, oh, that's, that guy still has not moved, so let's go perform down here. Oh, Mystery Carrots. Even killing even more. 10,250 tourism generated. Dark brown amorphous basalt. Giant's Causeway discovered. Maybe perform on a water park. Watch. Now. Watch. Now, now, now that we go and perform on a water park, that'll be the end of the mystery carrots. I, I would bet a large amount of money that since, since we're changing it up and no longer performing on a campus, they will die. It is. Oh, no, it's not. They faked me out. 13,750 tourism. Just a little bit. I, my civilization has produced a great work. Blown eardrum speakers. I somehow don't think that that would as well would come from a diamond factory. Let's see. Perfect spotlight or stoplight. Horrendous first performance. Nobody ever liked them. They failed right out of the gate. All right. Mystery carrots. Will this be the end? No. No, it will not. Uh, a measly 3,000 tourism, however. All right. Yeah, we are still about halfway here. See, that's the thing, even generating like 10,000 tourism per turn or whatever we're effectively getting right now, it's very difficult to win. I think if anybody has weapons of mass destruction, it's probably her. What about this for ranged? I mean, I'll take some Diplo points. I doubt, or should I vote against myself? You know what, I'm actually going to point... How many points do I have right now? I have 15. I don't know if that's enough to make people vote against me. Eh, whatever. I'll still vote for myself. I think people will probably make me lose points. I don't know what... Yeah. Okay, so they did vote against me quite heftily. I won that. I didn't win that one, though. So I've, I've lost I Diplo points as a whole. Alright. Stolen Club. Any good? Ah, very nicely done from Stolen Club. One, um, a measly 1,000 tourism, but that's okay. We all, we all gotta start somewhere. Not, not, not everybody can be like the Mystery Carrots and generate 10,000 tourism in a single performance. Stolen Club just got kicked out. That's really unfortunate because that means that Catherine is now running the policy card that means we can't perform in her territory. Alright, here we go. Mystery Carrots. Another riveting performance. 14,250 tourism. Deep Gold, any, any success? Nope. Deep Gold sucks. They still generated 3,000 tourism, though, so... Even for a pretty sucky band, that's a that's a decent amount of tourism. We've now finished the trifecta of the national parks that are around Signy up here, so we have this wonderful little triangle of national parks that's probably putting out a good amount of tourism, I would imagine. Nice thing is, see, as I'm saying, like, the error score that you get is just ridiculous from national parks, so we're, we're going to go into another golden age in the next era. All right, we can actually get a trader to Egypt as well, which we will get for the tourism modifier there. Let's see, any more campuses? The Pantanal. Is the Pantanal. It's not a campus, but let me not give that away. But yes, I will trade away some whales for some gold. We have 777 gold per turn right now. It's kind of a lot. Anybody, anybody good over here? Not even really. We don't really... Oh, actually, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and get this guy. Because this great merchant will allow us to be able to... Actually, wait. Yeah, we already have the deep score there. This guy will give us the extra tourism modifier bonus, which is pretty good. Another successful performance. 15,750 tourism from the Mystery Carrots. Also, wait, did this just flip? <laughs> I could have sworn that this was belonging to Indonesia, like, last turn. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Got this rock band. What can we get on this guy? Man, I swear that the promotions from this one are just... Fake event, fake event, all right? Nobody has seen a band quite like fake event, all right? You know we gotta go with that name, but... I swear that the promotions that come from this city are just garbage for some reason. I don't know why that is, but for some reason they just seem, like, terrible compared to some of the ones from the other city. 
We're still on the lookout for more campuses and, and spaceports here because I think that we're having the most success with those, so we should continue to try to perform on those if possible. What promotions do you have? Natural Wonders. Oh, harbors. There's a harbor over there. So one question that I get asked a lot is like, you know, what what can you do to make the late game entertaining? And something that I really don't have an answer to because it is true that a lot of the late game in like 4X games is, is kind of just repetitive. You know, you're pretty much just doing the same thing. So like at this point, you're probably noticing that this portion is pretty heavily edited because at this point, I'm really just, you know, sending out my rock bands and performing and trying to get as much towards them as I possibly can to win. And... It's kind of just the reality of 4X games is that, you know, that's the thing. So it's it's more fun if you can try to make your own challenges. Like, as we've been doing here, watching the mystery carrots go and seeing just how much tours we can get out of them is something that I think is pretty fun and something that I think helps spice up the late game. But hopefully some game will, will come along one of these days that really makes the late game of, of 4X, like, very entertaining. But we'll have to see. Maybe humankind. I don't know. Middle Elephant. All right, a respectable first performance from Middle Elephant. A, a nice 3,000 tourism. Still on the lookout. Oh, there's a campus for mystery carrots. No! Mystery carrots have failed! They finally died! 18,250 tourism on their last performance. Ah, oh, mystery carrots. Oh, man, I was just talking about how much, you know, it's cool to, you know... Watch stuff like that, like mystery carrots generate as much tourism as possible, but now they've failed. Mystery carrots are no more. This is this is truly a sad day. Can I get some Fs in the chat for mystery carrots? They 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 are they are deserving of some Fs. The absolute troopers that they are. Went through many a land, generating thousands upon thousands of tourism. Only to finally fall in Indonesia. Okay, we were suddenly ambushed by a big pack of barbarians down there. I luckily don't think it matters that much. Go ahead, do another performance. Another decent performance from them. 3,000 tourism. That's, you know, it's respectable. It's not anything revolutionary, but it's not bad. Stolen club, though. How are they doing? Oh, very good. Very nice stolen club. 5,750. Okay, that's respectable. Let's go ahead and send these guys over to this harbor. So there's a harbor here and one there. There's probably more along this coastline that we'll be able to find. And I believe Water Spies can go ahead and do their per first performance over here. Let's see. Any success? No, nah, Water Spies suck from the gate. They still generated 3,000 tourism though, which is pretty good. So that, that's, that's the benefit of Rock Bands, that it effectively gives you like a bunch more tourism per turn. Because if you do a performance every turn that generates 10,000 tourism, then you effectively have 10,000 tourism per turn. Let's see, middle elephants. Performing on a random district. And failing. Only generating 2,000 tourism. Well, they were good while they lasted, I suppose. How close are we to the culture victory? We are fairly close. We are closing in on 100 tourism away, or 100 tourists away. Alright, let's go ahead. Stolen club. Oh, that's right, they can get another thing. Oh, we'll get Space Rock on them as well. Maybe maybe they can be Mystery Carrots Part 2. We'll see. We haven't even bought any cultists, but I don't think it really... We, we, obviously, we don't really need them. We are very close. Oh, we're, we're within 100 tourism now. Or 100 tourists of the culture victory. This guy is going to get... We'll give him the... Super Genius. There we go. It's one named after me. Ha ha ha. Stolen Club. Any luck? All right, a decent performance from Stolen Club. 7,250 tourism. That's obviously a very good amount. We definitely want to run this policy card as well, which, where did it go? Online communities, so 50% extra tourism to civilizations I have a trade route with. Very good for just giving you more multipliers to get that tourism out to other civilizations. This volcano has exploded a number of times, and look at what it's done to the yields that are on the surrounding tiles, like... If that's, if that's not yield porn, then I really don't know what is. And, you know, I'm pretty sure I've just found the thumbnail for this video, but who knows? Maybe not. Oh, fake event. Fake event is able to perform. All right. Let's get him down here. Ah, uh, they can't perform any of the wonders because everybody's standing on them. Stolen club. What do you got? A wonderful, strikingly good performance. 8,750 tourism. We are now within 50 tourists of winning the culture victory. See, I was a little bit nervous whenever we saw that Catherine was kind of making her way towards science victory because we were almost nowhere into our culture victory, but just with these rock bands, you can see things end up pretty all right. 
decent performance. More than 10,000 tourism generated, though. Let's go ahead. Fake, fake event. Ready? Here we go. He's going to give a speech. All right. They did all right. A third tier performance. 3,750 tourism. Oh, super genius as well. Closing it off with a wonderful performance for 4,250 tourism, which will... That honestly, we might end up winning next turn. I think we'll probably win next turn. Not 100% certain, but... I feel like our, the, the chances are, are mildly high. But... Got almost 1,400 tourism, like, passively per turn. All right, we haven't won yet, but hang on. There are performances to be done. Well, next turn. Assuming that we don't win already. Super Geniuses will get a promotion. Go ahead and give them the one for water parks. Is there any other entertainment complexes? There is one over there. And just like that, we've actually won. They don't even have to perform again. Look at that. Is not measured by its accomplishments. So there you go. There you have it. The one era behind mod. We started out that game one era behind all of the DDAI. So it's like deity except on steroids. But perhaps this just goes to show how strong Bullmoose Teddy is with the new Preserve District. In combination with a lot of the other things that are already, you know, great. Like Earth Goddess and his ability. It just ends up being insanely strong because you can go get like so many free yields so much free faith culture you know combine it with the void singers and that faith turns into other yields as well and just like that before you know it you are destroying everything so once again uh special thanks to inquisitive otter who made this mod and uh, if you haven't checked out his channel go ahead and do so because he was the one that got myself and all of these other content creators together to make videos like this so go ahead and check him out if you haven't already Anyways, thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series. Uh, if you like the video, feel free to like. If not, feel free to dislike. And if you're looking for some more Civilization 6 content, feel free to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.